Reboots are not the issue when it comes to animation. Here's my opinion on it. What's good everybody? My name is Josh, aka Jace the Dom. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about reboots. So if you're new here and you like what you see so far, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Let's get straight into the discussion. So I said it here and I'll say it again. Reboots are not the issue when it comes to animation. Now you got a lot of creators online getting into this discussion saying how reboots are the problem, reboots need to stop. And here's my thing, why can't both of them just coexist? Why can't we just have reboots? Why can't we just have original content? You can do both, you can have both. Why settle for just one? And again, reboots, retellings, revivals have been a thing since the beginning of time. I mean, not if you're a religious person or not a religious person, the Bible has been retold so many times. Um, the Wizard of Oz, stories like The Wizard of Oz has been retold in stories and movies many of times. Um, and that's not the problem because you can have good reboots and you can have not so good reboots. And that's okay. It's okay to have good and bad, even with original content. It's okay to have good and bad. That's normal. Do you guys think, and you, you know I, I'm getting into comic books, do you guys actually think there's actually one Spider-Man comic out there? No. There are tons of Spider-Man comics out there that may stick to the main course purpose of Spider-Man, but may branch off into a completely different direction. And that's okay. That's cool. There's no problem with that. It's about the dedication and love that you put into that story. It's being able to tell a good story. And there are a lot of reboots in animation as of lately who have done that very well. Proud Family Louder and Prouder is a great example. Especially with the new season coming out, um, there's been a lot of... I'm seeing a lot of clips on Twitter and a lot of people are happy. Uh, I think there is like an autistic episode in there where they talk about autism, which is that's great because that's an actual normal thing. Uh, also talking about Juneteenth and a, a, a bunch of other things. And the Proud family has always talked about issues like that, even in the original. Um, so that's good to me. That's a good reboot. Beavis and Butthead is another great reboot. You know, building the story, building the characters of Beavis and Butthead into a modern 2022 or 2020 environment and building with new characters as well. That's another great thing. I mean, again, like I said, you're going to have good reboots and you're going to have bad ones. And again, this is another conversation to be had. It doesn't matter if it's a reboot or an original series, these companies still think of animation as less. They don't see it as profitable. We've heard the conversations, we've heard it many times throughout these past couple of years of how some of these companies talk about animation, how they treat animation, how they see animation. So again, reboots are not the problem. Stop letting these people online tell you that reboots are the problem. They're not. And what's funny is, some of these same creators who talk about this stuff, I don't see them, let alone, making a video about original content that's coming out. Only mentioning it, mentioning it in five seconds, and then going back on to how much they hate reboots. What kind of content are you trying to put out there? Again, there's a good show called Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur that's coming out this month. I have not seen anyone besides me talking about that show, and it's a great show. It looks like it's going to be a great show, and I said it in my video. That's going to be Disney's next big hit, and I mean that. There are other great shows, original shows, that are going to be coming out this year. I don't see you guys making any videos about these, but you want to make videos about how reboots are messing up animation. No, they're not. Reboots have never messed up animation. Animation was messed up from the beginning because, again, these companies do not see the worth in animation at all. You know this. 
you all know this. I've talked about it on the channel. I don't want to rant off about it, but again, reboots are not the problem when it comes to animation. The company is not seeing the worth in animation. That's the problem. That's where the discussion needs to be had. And why can't we just have both? Why can't both just coexist without people always feeling like we should just have one? We should have, be able to have both. If Marvel fans can have multiple Spider-Man comics, if movie fans can have and people on Broadway can have multiple versions of The Wizard of Oz, why can't we have multiple versions of different things and let it coexist with original content that's coming? I don't see a problem with that. Again, this isn't no shot taking shots at anybody. But again, sometimes you gotta really sit down and do your research and really understand that some people do have, with these reboots, do have good hearts in mind. Proud Family Loud and Prouder is an example. Beavis and Butthead is a good example. For some, The Animaniacs is a good example. We can have both. So let's start feeling that way. We can have both. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below how you feel about it. Do you feel like me? Do you have a different opinion? Let me know. Down in the comments below, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on those post notifications. It really does help out the channel. Big love to you all, and peace out.